My name is Alan Newby and I'm the Director of Aerospace Technology at Rolls-Royce. Today we've been talking about our program for sustainable aviation and some of the things we've revealed to the world media today as part of the CTO Summit. So fundamentally our strategy for decarbonising aviation falls into three main areas. The first is to continue to optimise and develop the gas turbine. We see significant opportunities to continue to develop the gas turbine going forward, particularly for medium and longer range markets, so we still need to continue to invest and develop the gas turbine. Secondly, we see opportunities for more novel configurations, that's both aircraft and engine configurations. This includes things like electrification, where we see increasing applicability of electrification, particularly on short ranges and then probably growing into longer ranges. And the final pillar of that is sustainable alternate fuels. So as we see it today, the development of electrical and battery systems is fine for short range aircraft, but doesn't provide the energy and the power density we need for longer ranges. Therefore, if we really want to decarbonise medium and long range aviation, then we see a need for sustainable alternative fuels or carbon free fuels. So that's an area that we're developing. So example, for those fuels, we're working with the oil manufacturers today, we've got a big programme that we're engaged with those guys to try and drive the agenda forward. And what we want really, ideally, is what we call a drop-in fuel. That means that it has all the same characteristics of aviation fuels today, such that it will fit in the same system, you can blend it with today's fuels, and it offers you a zero carbon benefit without having to tear up and change the fuel system in either the aeroplane or the engine. And those are the main pillars of our decarbonisation strategy for aviation.